Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. It is great to meet you. I am so happy we have found each other. Thank you for joining this particular playlist, the playlist that's going to answer all your questions about Toronto real estate. I'm going to define things for you. I'm going to explain things for you. We're going to break things down to the fundamentals. I know exactly what it feels like to be in your place looking for a resource that you can depend on. There is so much information out there and so much misinformation that I want to break this down into the fundamentals. I'm going to talk about being a first time home buyer. I'm going to talk about climbing up the property ladder and talking about selling too. So I want you to use this as a resource. I want you to think of me as your personal real estate BFF. I want you to feel like this is a safe place that you can come to to find out the answers to all of your questions that you are too afraid to ask out loud, feeling like you should know the answer when you're not really sure. And trust me, I totally understand what it feels like to be in your shoes. I have been there. I have been in this business for many, many years, but I remember what it felt like when I was first starting out both as an agent and as a real estate investor myself. My name is Corey Marin. I'm a real estate broker and the co-founder of Fox Marin Associates, a boutique real estate brokerage located in downtown Toronto. This is my personal playlist on our channel, Real Estate Confessions, a video podcast for your unasked property questions. Here, I will answer all the questions you're afraid to ask just one episode at a time. So I thought I would dedicate this episode to my own personal real estate journey, just so you know that I understand, I remember, and I know like I know what it feels like when you are first exploring real estate. So I'm gonna take you back many, many years to the first time I bought a condo. It was very intimidating and I didn't have a plan. I didn't have any money saved and I decided that I wanted to invest in a pre-construction condo. So this is literally and legitimately what happened. I stumbled across a pre-construction showroom for a new build by Tridel. I walked into the showroom kind of by fluke because I was drawn to the beautiful finishes and features at the showroom. Walked in, loved everything I saw, was enamored by the floor plans, loved the sales associate that was working on the floor. And the next thing I know, I'm buying myself a condo. Okay, I really have no plan here. And really, I have not a dollar to my name. I have student debt that I'm trying to pay off, and I haven't really saved any money either. And then I decide to buy a condo. Now, you have to remember there are advantages of buying pre-construction and that you're paying your down payment over time in generally in increments of 5% over a three or four year period. So I didn't have a real estate broker. I obviously was not in the business and I didn't have a real estate lawyer. And the next thing I know, I'm signing this like massive document from the developer, which is very intimidating and packed full of fine print. And I'm signing away, signing away my life. And I have no idea what I'm doing. I just, I just know my instincts are telling me that I need to get into the market. That's all I really know. I don't know how I'm going to have the money to do it, but I know I can find a way. And that's exactly what happened. So I saw it on the dotted line. I bought myself a condo. I don't know about the 10-day rescission period, which we'll talk about in another episode. And the next thing I know, I'm like, oh my gosh, where am I going to get this money from? So I put myself on a very rigorous savings plan. Like I'm talking rigorous. What I need to do is I need to pay off my student line of credit, but I also need to save for these deposits over the next three or four year period. So I put myself on a strict spending budget for clothes for work. So I was working in a corporate office and I went to Club Monaco and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna buy a pair of black pants, a pair of gray pants, two skirts, two blouses, and two sets of heels. And I'm gonna wear those clothes for the rest of the year. I don't care. I'll just interchange them. I'll change my earrings or my hair uh, or my makeup. That's all I'm going to buy. I'm not gonna go for dinner. I'm not gonna order takeout. I'm not going on vacation. And I am going to pay down some of the student debt as well. So I drew out two thermometers that sat at my desk. One was for savings and one was for debt pay down. And I would like marker them in every paycheck. In addition to my corporate job, I was also teaching fitness classes part-time. So back in the day, you really didn't get paid a lot to teach a fitness class. Like I'm talking like $30 a class, but I really needed every dollar I could to meet these deposit deadlines. So I would teach a spin class in the morning, 
sometimes I would teach a fitness class at lunchtime. And then in the evenings, I was teaching two or three classes back to back. So there was a time period I was teaching 16 fitness classes a week on top of my part-time job and freelancing as a makeup artist at weddings. So it was a very insane schedule, but I was on a mission. I wanted to make this condo happen. So I believe about three years pass, I have saved all the money. I've paid off almost all of the student debt. And the closing for my condo is just around the corner. And my real estate lawyer, which I now have, because I now know I need a real estate lawyer, calls me and he says, okay, Corey, I'm looking forward to you coming to my office to sign uh, your final closing documents. Don't forget to bring your check for $16,000. I'm like, check for $16,000? What is he talking about? And he's like, Corey, you need to pay your land transfer taxes, your builder closing costs, and, you know, got adjustments to pay for it, all the additional fees that come when you buy pre-construction. And I'm like, I had no idea. Like, legitimately, I kid you not, I had no idea about any of this closing costs, construction closing costs, land transfer taxes, no clue. And do you think I have $16,000 tucked away for closing? Absolutely not. I was just so proud of myself that I had paid down the requirements for the down payment. So I was sitting at my desk. I was bawling, like crying my eyes out and thinking, how am I going to pull all this off? Like, I obviously want the condo, but where am I going to get the $16,000 from? So I went into the bank, my head hanging low, and I pulled out $16,000 off a line of credit certified check, went to the lawyer, and I signed and I closed on my condo and I gave over the $16,000. And yes, was I happy? Of course. But was I super sad that I had another $16,000 to pay off my line of credit at this point? You bet I was. So I kid you not, it took me another full year to pay down that $16,000. But I did own brick and mortar in downtown Toronto. And this is a huge step coming from nothing to something. The best part about this story is since the time I purchased the condo pre-construction off plans, off a floor plan, time had passed, and I also lived there, of course, the market had appreciated and so had this condo. And due to some lifestyle changes and personal changes, it was time for me to sell this very first condo. So I went to market. I had a real estate broker. I had a goal in mind that I really wanted to meet so I could net net X amount of dollars from this property. And I had a big vision ahead of me at this point in time. And so I had the goal, had the property listed, had an offer date, got multiple offers on the property, and ended up selling that very first condo for $100,000 more than my target amount. So it was like I had just won the lottery because don't forget, on your personal residence, you don't pay any taxes on those gains. So I I literally felt like I had just got the most enormous bonus, like the biggest reward for the hardest thing I had ever done. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. This was like my first, I, I don't even know how to describe it, like feeling of empowerment, feeling like I had choices, feeling like I was in a position where I could make decisions for myself, feeling like I had a little bit of wealth. And I certainly had a little bit of hoopspa at this point. So what I did was I had this unexpected money. I took the net profit. I bought a second pre-construction condo. I also bought a resale condo on Queen's Key. So now I've taken that first condo and now I've split it into two one resale condo, and one small, tiny pre-construction condo. I think it was about 450 square feet off of Carlaw on Leslieville. And so now I've gone from one to two properties, but I also had this bonus money I didn't expect to have. So what did I do? I really looked at my life and thought like, what do I want from it next? When are you going to be in a position in your life where you're going to have this extra type of money and this freedom in your life? I decided to resign from my corporate job I also resigned from teaching fitness and I packed a suitcase, packed up all of my stuff. I rented out my condo on Queen's Key and I went and traveled around the world for a year. And I went 
everywhere. I went to Africa. I went to Peru. I did the Annapurna circuit in Nepal. I went to New Zealand. I went to Japan and had the most incredible, amazing year that anyone could ever ask for in their life. I come back to Toronto and I had a very strong goal in mind. I'm like, I don't want to work for anyone else. I want to be in this business. I want to be in real estate where I can help other people make a similar type of move, a very strategic move. And I want to empower other people to do the same thing. It was so clear. It was so obvious. This is what my passion and my intention was. So I did get my real estate license and I have been in the business for, I don't know, 11 or 12 years now. And I have helped so many people in this position do this very thing. So whether you're buying your first property or hoping to save for your first property or you're selling your first one, you're hoping to diversify or you're looking to become an investor or you just have questions about the business as an agent, being an investor and how to build a real estate portfolio, or you're simply interested in getting answers to some of the questions that you don't really understand or know, you can just come here as a resource. And it doesn't matter if you're working with me or the team, I want you to come here and feel like you can explore. So I'm going to break everything down for you from down payment requirements to deposit checks to multiple offers to interest rates. And all the stuff that you feel like you should know that no one ever teaches you. And trust me, I learned this the hard way, as I'm sure you just realized. No one told me anything. I learned it all through experience. And it was super, super challenging and very, very, very stressful, but also so rewarding and empowering. And I want you to remember that. So I'm looking forward to pulling all this information together for you. Please be sure to ask your questions here in the comment section below. Like this video and subscribe. And I will be sure to get to all of your questions as soon as possible. Thank you so much for tuning in today. It was great to see you and I'll catch you in the next episode.